So it is that time of year again. If you saw the title of this video, you know what's happening. It is time for my summer loom contest. And this year is going to be really big and I've tried to make it extra fun this year and I hope you will join. <laughs> First off, I forgot to say hi. Hi, I am hosting a contest again this year. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the past couple of years I've been hosting these like contests uh, for band, they're for bands, but they're also just kind of for fun. And um, I have two videos on this channel for the past two years I did, and then two videos announcing the winners, and then I send them their prizes. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's a fun time, and I love seeing all your entries and your posts. This really is my way of saying thank you for to you guys for supporting my channel all year. I really appreciate it, especially all the like extra patience I got this year with me starting a university. I feel like my upload schedule was not as consistent, and it was just a lot of new things, so if you've stuck with me through it, thank you. I am back home for the summer, so things will be getting back to normal soon. As you can tell, I'm back in my bedroom back home. But this year's gonna be very similar to last year's, but a little bit different because I'm running it more loom game style. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. I feel like I'm like trying to sort out everything in my brain because there's just like so much going on and so much that I have to tell you. Um, I also wanted to make this year a little bit bigger than my usual contest and a little bit different because I posted on Instagram a couple days ago, but this year I found out because I finally calculated how long I've been looming that this year is my 10 year kind of loom anniversary of looming um, I started looming 10 years ago as of two days ago and <laughs> as of when I'm filming this so it was like on the 16th of May um, I started looming 10 years ago and I I'm really proud of everything I've done in the loom community. Very unexpected some of it. I feel like when I started looming, I never expected to stick with it for this long or to love it as much as I do. And I have had so many good, fun memories in the loom community. I feel like 10 years, I don't know, I feel like just doing something consistently for 10 years in itself is like such an achievement in some weird way. Besides that, I guess it is time to get into the loom contest version. Probably the reason you're here. Another really insane exciting thing that happened this year that I was not expecting. I was not expecting them to say yes. I messaged Rainbowloom asking them for help with the prize this year. Um, if they could give me a discount code or something, anything, I appreciate it. I'm in college this year, um, so I've been a little bit tighter funds wise. And they sent me the entire prize for this Loom game, so I cannot say it enough. Thank you so much Rainbowloom for sending me the prize for this loom game, for helping me out this year, for helping me promote it, because I know you guys said you would. I appreciate all of it so much. I don't even know what to say to words. I never, I was not expecting when I first messaged them for me, first messaged them for the, the ba, 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 words. I was not expecting at all when I first messaged them to, them to say yes, let alone send me the entire prize for this loom game. So I guess this loom game is somewhat sponsored by Rainbow Loom. I don't know, they sent me the entire prize, but I will be paying for the shipping to get these bands to you myself. But I cannot thank you Rainbow Loom enough because it's so much help to have them provide the prize for me. So thank you so much Rainbow Loom. I cannot say it enough. I am in shock that you guys helped me out this year and I really appreciate it. The fact that they trust me enough to just send me a prize and then like help promote my Loom game because they know I'm going to do a good job means so much to me. So thank you Rainbow Loom. And I guess I will show you what the prize is for this year. But I can't show you the prize without explaining what's happening first. I feel like, once again, so many things going on in the brain. In past Loom games, I've required you to make um, my designs on my channel and then post them up to Instagram to the hashtag. It's going to be similar this year, but this year I'm not going to require you to make any of my designs. Like I said, um, I'm kind of celebrating 10 years of Looming this year and I never just did Loomakurumi. For some reason all my designs are Loomakurumi, but I've always done like Hukuli bracelets. I used to love doing happy foods. Um, I'm also really impressed by the people who do dragons and I want to include you guys this year. So I really wanted this year just to be a giant celebration of Looming. So I tried to keep the rounds because this is going to be more loom game style um, as open as possible. So if you don't know what a loom game is, um, basically a while ago when Rainbow Loom first started, loomers would kind of host loom games and they were usually run by a loomer and then a bunch of other loomers would enter and there would be like different themes per round and you would make something for the round and you would post it. Usually you would have like about a week to post it and usually the loom games were about like eight rounds long which is like eight weeks and I would love to host a like traditional style loom game but you know a week is such a short amount of time to like do these things because I remember when I used to do loom games I was always like rushing to finish whatever the heck it was that I made so I understand that they're very like time consuming so I didn't want to do it like 
that. I wanted to give you guys a little bit more time. Each round is going to get about three weeks. This first round is a little bit shorter because I was supposed to announce this last week when I was finishing school, but school kind of took me out and I thought I was going to be able to film this video, but then I, ki I kind of just, I was a couch potato for a week. I'm not even going to lie. It took me out. So there's that. It's gonna run the entire summer, so it starts today when you guys see this video, and it's gonna run all the way until sometime in August. I'm not sure exactly what date yet. I think we're gonna end around August 6th, so we're gonna run from now all the way until August. I want this Loom game to be long so that way you guys have time to make things, and that way we can have fun together all summer. I'm not gonna tell you all the rounds today. I'm just gonna tell you round one, and then the other rounds there will be videos for and in those videos, I'm going to announce the winner of the previous round, as well as tell you what's coming in the next round. But for today, I need to cover the general rules if you're entering. So I haven't showed you yet, but there is a band prize for this um, loom contest. There's going to be four rounds, like I said, so there's going to be a winner of each round, and they're going to get four packs of bands and a loom thing made by me. Um, I do have the packs of bands here. Rainbow Loom was kind enough to provide me with bands, like I said. So they chose the colors, and they chose really pretty colors. They gave you guys sweets bands, and I was like, thank God, Rainbow Loom. They actually chose, like, two of my... Honestly, some of these are my favorite colors of bands. I don't know if they do that. Maybe they've watched me, and they're like, I know she likes these. She should give these out to her to her winners. They, they know, because these are some of my favorite colors of bands. But if you win one of the rounds, you're going to get four packs of bands, and then a Loom thing made by me. So... Yeah, I'll make you whatever you want. I know in years past, I already had like the loom thing made, but this year I've decided I'll make you whatever you want. The only thing is it has to be one of my designs. I'm not gonna make you a dragon. If you ask me to make you a dragon, I'd be like, I don't know how to do that. But like I said, the dragon people, they just impressed me so much, but I will make you whatever you want. So if you want a big duck for me, I'll make you a big duck and send it with your prices. Oops. But like I said, this is loom game style. So there is going to be an overall winner. And the overall winner, and I cannot thank Rainbow Loom enough for sending me this because this thing is huge. I have never seen a Loomy Pal kit this big. Like, I don't know. Did I get one of these when I was Loom Artist? I don't know. But it is like the biggest Loomy Pal kit I have ever seen. And it is huge. So the winner of the whole Loom game is going to get this giant Loomy Pal kit. And like I said, really, I cannot thank you enough for sending me this. When I saw how big it was, I was like, this is going to make an amazing, like, winner prize. So the winner is going to get this giant Lumi Pal kit, and I will make you something as well. The prizes, I'll show you the prizes close up in a second, but I want to finish telling you about the rules and things. You have to have an Instagram to enter this because I run this on Instagram, and I've thought about doing it different ways. I've tried to include more people who don't have, like, Loom accounts in the years past, but it just gets so messy. And it's really hard for me to keep track of everything, so you do need to have some kind of public Instagram account. It needs to be public so I can see it. It doesn't have to be your account. It could be your mom's account. It could be your friend's account. But you need to post this thing on Instagram. I feel like I've said this in your past, but you're going to want to post whatever your creation for this round is to the hashtag, which I will put on the screen now. Um, and just make sure it's in the hashtag. That is the most important thing. Um, you do need to tag me in that post but you need to make sure it's in the hashtag. You need to be comfortable with giving me your address if you win a prize. You can enter and not win a prize if you don't want to give me your address and just want to enter for fun, that's fine. But if you do want the band prize, you need to be comfortable with giving me your address. I am shipping this internationally, so don't worry about where you're from. I will attempt to ship it to you. I say attempt because I feel so bad because Olympus the Loomers Plies got lost last year in the mail and I don't know where it went. And honestly, if it gets lost in the mail, it's kind of not on me. I'm sorry, but I will try to ship it to you. Hopefully it makes it there, and I'm so sorry if it gets lost, but I will ship internationally, and I'll try my best to get it to you. You need to be following me on Instagram, and as well as subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, that's just to kind of help you know what is going on, as well as I just appreciate it if you follow me. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the general rules. Um, just be comfortable with giving me your address, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, this is open internationally, and I feel like the big one for this year to remember is you do not have to make my designs this year. You can make whatever the heck you want for any of these rounds. It doesn't have to be my designs. It doesn't have to be an original design either. I know, like, <laughs> I used to hate it in Loom Games when it kind of became like an original design contest of seeing who can make the best original design. So, 
I'm not gonna judge too much based on the designs you guys make. You can make original designs for these rounds, but you're not gonna get bonus points for it. I'm kind of gonna be judging more on like your creativities and your ideas, kind of, sort of, and like how the post looks overall. I feel like the photo is very important for these Loom games. You want to make sure you have a good photo because <laughs> even if you make the most amazing thing, if I can't see what it is in the photo, I'm gonna be like, I don't know what it is. So I have my sketchbook here because I've wrote all the secrets for the Slim Game in here to keep track of things. So round one for this contest now that we've gotten all of everything else out of the way. So round one is going to be very similar to what I did a couple of years ago. Um, I really liked when I did this round. I loved how creative everyone got with where they took photos of their loom things. The person who tossed their toucan in the sky is still it's still one of my favorite photos and that photo gave me so much joy. So I want you to take photos in unusual places and I've always done this. I feel like I never like, I've taken photos so many weird places. I've taken photos at my school, even my new school. I've taken, I took a photo of a squirrel there. My squirrel design <laughs> was taken at my school. The goose, I also took my photos of my school. I've taken photos at concerts. I've taken photos on socks. So I really wanted to do this round again and you can guys go, go back and look at the Loom game. I'll link it up in the iCard once again. Basically, I want you to take photos in usual places. Places you wouldn't normally take a photo. You know, try different places, see what happens. Get really creative with it. And I was discussing this Loom game with my sibling who helped me plan the whole thing. She was like, you know, it'd be funny if someone took a photo of their Loom thing in the fridge. Like, I don't know, that would be so cool. And I was like, you know what, that would be a cute photo. If someone like got a happy food, stuck it in the fridge and took a photo. Like, I don't know. So it doesn't have to be somewhere like really wild it can be somewhere really common but just um yeah I don't know have fun with it I also want to say I'm really open in this game I'm not gonna like disqualify you if it doesn't count for the round I would say get really creative with it have fun um, I know when I did this round like two years ago the first time I had someone take a photo of a cow on top of a mountain of cookie dough and she almost won and I thought it was the most creative idea because it was just a little cow on a mound of cookie dough and I'm like that's such a cute photo she didn't win but she should have I wish I had another prize because she did so well you can make your loom things go on an adventure or you can just take a photo of them somewhere where you feel like fits the loom thing you made I don't know I just want you to take photos Places you usually don't take photos. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this round. Um, it's very similar to round I did before. Just take photos in usual places. See where you can go with your loom things and take photos. Even if you like put your loom thing in a tree. Maybe you'll make a monkey, put him in a tree. I don't know, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you can't enter this round as many times as you like. I'm not gonna stop you. You can enter it 20 times, you can enter it one time. Just whatever you feel feels right. So this round is going to run from today until June 2nd. So that Friday will be the last day to enter. And then we are going to get into round two, which is going to be fun. Rounds. This round's a little quick, but it's going to be a fun first round. And I'm excited to see where you guys take your loom things. But yeah, so you have two weeks for this one. And I think that's plenty of time. But yeah, so that was pretty much it for this round. Um, I hope you come back for round two and I hope you enter this round. Uh, I hope you find this idea fun. I am trying to run it Loom Game style this year. I've never done it like this. I've always given people so much time, but I thought it'd be fun to try something different this year. So if you want to also see the post I made on Instagram, sometimes I feel like these videos are a little chaotic and you're like, what are all the rules? What? I don't remember it. I'll have it written all out on Instagram so you can go check it out. But yeah, so I think that's it for this first round. Um, I'm probably just going to show you the prizes real quick up close. And then I think that's it for this video. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick close-up of the prizes in case you couldn't see them when I was holding them. But the winner of the whole Loom game will be getting this big Rainbow Loom Mega Combo set. It is the biggest Loomy Pal set I've seen. I don't remember if they sent me this one when I was um, the Loom artist. They may have. I feel like this kit looks familiar. I just don't remember it being this big, but it is a massive kit. It comes with so many bands. And then Loomy Pals and a Loom. And Happy Looms. Um, but... Yeah, there's also this really weird pretty color that I don't I've never seen before. So yeah, the winner of my whole loom game will be getting this. These are the bands that each of the round winners will be giving. They'll be getting four packs and then a loom thing made by me. So just like imagine a loom thing here. But you can choose whatever loom thing you want made by me as long as it's a design for my channel or just a design I have made. And yeah, you'll be getting four packs of bands. And then a loom thing made by me. And I know there's five packs here, but that's because the Rainbow Loom sent me five packs of bands per winner. But I've decided I'm only going to give you four. And then we're going to have like an extra bonus winner at the end. But yeah, these are all the bands Rainbow Loom sent me. And they're all like the same colors. So basically these are like the five colors you can get. Like you'll get four of the five. Um, I decided not to send the four winners all five packs of bands. One, because they don't fit in the envelopes I use. 
and also because I've decided to do five winners. So there'll be one winner per round and then we're gonna have an extra bonus winner at the end. So that's the winner of each round we'll be getting. And um, yeah, I'll package it up all cute for you. <laughs> so I will be announcing the rounds as they come. I don't wanna give them all to you at once because this is how loom games work. It's gotta be a surprise. Um, so June 2nd will be the last day for this one and I will see you sometime probably the Monday after to announce the winners and then tell you what the next round is. But I think that is it. So I hope you guys think this Loom's game is fun. I'm excited to host it this year. And thanks again to Rainbow Loom for helping me out this year. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next round. Bye.